This is a review of the major male reproductive structures using the male reproductive model. We'll start with the structures that you can see on the outside of the male model, starting with the glans penis. This is the distal end of the penis. Right here, you can see one testicle. This is one testis and this is contained within the scrotum, which is right here. This structure that goes behind and above each testis is called the epididymis. This mass of blood vessels and also nerves and connective tissue that suspends each testis is called the spermatic cord. This tube that runs up from the testis and travels across and behind the bladder is called the vas deferens or ductus deferens. And this carries sperm from the testes eventually into the urethra. This structure here is the bladder, the urinary bladder. This gland here is the prostate gland. It's located below the bladder. And this gland here is one of two glands located behind the bladder. This is called the seminal vesicle, and there are two. If I remove this, you can see inside, you can see the internal structures. So here is the urinary bladder, and you can see the prostate gland located below it. This tube that extends from the bladder through the penis to the outside of the body is called the urethra. It's divided into three sections based on what structures it's passing through. This section is called the prostatic urethra. This small section here that's passing through muscle, which you can see here, is called the membranous urethra or the membranous portion of the urethra. And then this entire section of the urethra is called the spongy portion of the urethra. That's because it passes through tissue within the penis that's called the corpus spongiosum. That tissue makes up the glans penis, which is this end, and it forms the tissue that directly surrounds the urethra. It's the tissue that's shown in pink. This tissue is called the corpus cavernosum. It's shown in purple. Another duct that's visible is right here called the ejaculatory duct. It's a small duct within the prostate gland and that connects to the prostatic portion of the urethra. And one last structure that's visible is the pubic symphysis. This is located in front of the urinary bladder.